Okay. Okay. Uh, private addresses. Uh, private addresses. Okay. Private addresses. Okay. Which one of these addresses? Which of these addresses are private IP addresses? Private IP addresses, meaning they're not routable on the internet. You have to be able to answer this question on the test, certification exam. They'll give you a choice of six addresses or five addresses or seven addresses, and you've got to pick out the private ones. Okay? All right? Do you see any that you know are private? You do? The first one. Okay. Andrew says the first one. All right. Why is this one a private? Because the first number is a 10. The first number is a 10. Excellent. Yes, if the first number is a 10, that is a private address. That's a class A private address. A class A private address, meaning anything that starts with 10, so 10.0.0.0, all the way up to 10.255.255.255 is private. So you're right. The first one's private. Okay. How about Matt over there? Do you see another private address in there? There's two 172 addresses right here. Right. Two 172 addresses. Which one's private? Which one's public? <laughs> <laughs> Guaranteed that this question will be on the test. Mm -hmm. You have to know your class B private address range. What is it? Okay. It's tricky, isn't it? Which one do you think it might be? Okay. Well, the Class B private address range, I'm going to let you off the hook, Matt, because this is a tough question, is 172.16.0.0, right? All the way up to 172.31.255.255. Because what's the next address? 172.31.255.255. What's the next address in the sequence? 172.32.0.0. And so they will put a number like that with a 32 there and hope that you bite on it and it's the wrong answer. So in this scenario, this 32 is a public address. That's a good address. This one, 172.17, that is the private address right there. That's the private. So, so far we've got this one's a private address and we've got this one is a private address. How about this five down here? Is that public or private? Public. Public. It's public. Why? Class A, the private address is 10. Class B, the private address is 172.16.0.0 to 172.31.255.255 just shy of 172.32.0.0. There's one more private address in the group. Which one is it? 192. The 192. The 192.168. If it starts with a 192.168, it is a private address. So this 192.168.255.100, that is a private address. Okay, Class C private address. You've probably seen it on your network at home, maybe. One, if it starts with a 192.168.0.0 all the way up to 192.168.255.255, it is private, meaning it's not routable on the Internet. Now, there's a couple of other addresses that are not routable on the Internet that we can talk about. Um, usually they won't end up in the private, this type of question, but they might. What's another uh, address that's not routable on the internet that's not a public IP address? Clyde? Okay, that's a good one. The loopback address. 127.0.0.1. That is a loopback address. 127. If it starts with a 127, it's not routable on the internet. It's used for loopback, for testing your NIC. Right? So ping yourself. <laughs> 
okay? And uh, there are some other uh, private addresses or not routable, not public addresses. One of them is called an APIPA address. Check it out. Look it up online. APIPA. It's oftentimes if you're DHCP on Windows, you can't pick up an IP address, then Windows will automatically give you an APIPA address, which usually starts with a 169, I believe it is. I don't remember. 169 or something. Anyway, private addresses.